matter around us matter is defined as anything that has mass and takes up space all matter is made up of atoms atoms are the smallest particle of a matter atoms are so small that they can be seen only through a microscope science has come up with a technology to identify structure of atoms scanning electron microscope states of matter matter is found in three major states solid liquid and gas besides solid liquid and gases there are two other states of matter called plasma and bose einstein condensate they are not found on earth they are present in universe here are a few examples of solid liquid and gaseous states of matter characteristics of the particles in a matter the particles of a matter have a lot of space in between them in different forms of matter the spacing will be different in a solid the space is very less in a liquid it is moderate in a gaseous state the space is more this table column shows you the difference between solid liquid and gaseous states of matter solid state has a definite shape and volume they are incompressible there is very little space between the particles of solid these particles attract each other very strongly particles of solid cannot move freely in a liquid state a liquid has no definite shape it can attain the shape of any vessel in which they are kept they are compressible to a small extent these particles have a greater space between them The force of attraction between liquid particles is less than solid. These particles move very freely. Gaseous state. Gases have neither a definite shape nor a definite volume. They are highly compressible. The space between gas particles is greatest. The force of attraction is least between gaseous particles. Gaseous particles are in a continuous random motion. diffusion the particles of gases and liquids can move and that among gases are more easy diffusion is a tendency of the particles to spread out in order to occupy the available space compression is explained through these pictures solids are incompressible liquids moderately compressible gases are highly compressible matter and its characteristics particles of a matter are very small and have space between them particles of matter are continuously moving particles of matter attract each other matter can float or sink based on their density matter can be transparent translucent or opaque matter or rigid or flexible The flow chart shows you the difference between pure substance and mixture. Pure substance elements and compounds. Mixtures, there are two types of mixtures, homogeneous and heterogeneous mixtures. Pure substance. A pure substance is made up of only one kind of particle. Pure substance may be element or compound. An atom is the smallest particle that an element is made up of same kind of atoms. Molecule is a combination of two or more atom. Compound is a substance formed by the chemical combination of two or more element. A mixture is an impure substance and contains more than one kind of particle. In a mixture the components are mixed in any proportion. Example air is a mixture because it contains oxygen nitrogen carbon dioxide water vapor etc types of mixture heterogeneous means different homogeneous means same separation of mixtures we need to separate mixtures in order to remove the impurities or harmful components from the mixture When the useful components has to be separated from other components example petrol from petroleum 
when a substance has to be attained in a highly pure form example gold from gold mines methods of separation a solid liquid mixture there are three types of methods followed to separate filtration the insoluble solid impurities are separated with the help of filter paper example tea filter sedimentation the insoluble solid is allowed to settle down without disturbing the mixture decantation the insoluble solid is allowed to settle down and the supernatant liquid is separated from it using a glass rod separation of solid solid mixture hand picking hand picking is only useful when the particles are large enough to be seen clearly it is most commonly used method of separation for example separation of pebbles from rice or dal threshing threshing is the method that is generally used by the farmers to separate the grains from the stalks after harvesting the dried stalks are beaten or threshed to separate the grains however in large forms threshing is done by using threshing machines components of a mixture are separated by wind or by blowing air is called winnowing in winnowing the mixture is allowed to fall from a height the lighter components get separated from the heavier ones because of the wind or air blow sieving is used to separate minute particles of different size passing it through a sieve different size sieves are used to separate different types of mixture containing minute particles sieve is a device containing tiny holes and separates wanted elements from unwanted ones magnetic separation Take some iron fillings in a china dish. Add some sugar to it. Hold it with a paper cover over the mixture. Iron fillings get attracted to the magnet. Only sugar remains in the china dish. This method is known as magnetic separation. This is used to separate the magnetic substances from the non-magnetic substances. Food adulteration Sometimes things that we buy in the market are mixed with harmful and unwanted substances. This is called adulteration. For example, used tea leaves are sometimes used as adulterants in tea. Watch what you eat. Stay safe, stay healthy.